This is London. You will now hear a statement by the Prime Minister. I am speaking to you from the Cabinet Room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British Ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock, that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. La défaite française a été causée par la force mécanique aérienne et terrestre de l'ennemi. L'action foudroyante de cette force mécanique a amené l'effondrement du moral, du commandement et du gouvernement. Devant cet effondrement, deux voies s'ouvrent la bande. The disastrous military events which have happened in France during the last fortnight have not come to me with any sense of surprise. Indeed, I told the House of Commons, as you may remember, uh, almost exactly a fortnight ago, that the worst possibilities were open. Yesterday, December 7th, 
1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The United States was at peace with that nation. And at the solicitation of Japan, was still in conversation with its government and its emperor, looking toward the maintenance of peace in the Pacific. and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. 
the hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeat in open battle. General Jodl, the representative of the German High Command, and of Grand Admiral Dönitz, the designated head of the German state, signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Forces.